Hi, this is Susanna Bowling with the Times Square Beat, and we are with Dominic Chianese from The Sopranos, The Godfather. The Jersey Beat. <laughs> We're the Times Square Beat. Yeah, Times Square Beat. Square Beat is like more like da 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 da, da or whatever. <laughs> now, you're singing. Have you sung before in yeah, shows? I, yeah, a lot of people don't realize that I started as a singer. I started with Gilbert and Sullivan, and then I. Uh, that it's Broadway musicals and uh, off-Broadway musicals, uh, summer stock musicals. <laughs> what musicals did you do? Uh, I did uh, Damn Yankees, Oliver was my first Broadway show, uh, God, a whole bunch of them. Uh, I can't, Jacques Brel show, uh, 110 in the Shade, Just, I think I, wow, so a you've lot of music. Classics. Yeah, I've done. I've been on the stage musically, and, and music is my first love. And then I had to learn how to act, Susanna. <laughs> then I made some real money. <laughs> now, you're singing in Italian. Is most of the yeah. show in Italian? No, no, no. The show is mostly English. But with the, with the, since my grandfather, you know, inspired me, I, 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 in honor of him, I do some of the, the Neapolitan songs, as opposed to Italian songs. Neapolitan is a special kind of uh, dialect of Italian that really lends itself to poetic music. It's a really a po beautiful poetry language. It's sort of like singing, you know, uh, a fool such as I with a Mississippi accent, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It has a certain feeling, you know? What would you like to still accomplish in your career? I would like to go on a stage and uh, um, with a, an original musical to, to let the young people know that, uh, uh, that with perseverance, which is very important, and believe in the talent, and to let the young people know that what would really teach them to be artists is the audience. And I think they need to uh, realize the audience will teach them if they if they're doing the right thing. The audience will teach them if they move, you know, if they've done the, if they move them. Uh, well, I got that a, a feeling at the Grand Ole Opry in two, the year 2001, September 2001. I was down in Nashville and I had an opportunity to sing two songs in front of all these people down in Nashville. And the first song was a country song. And then my producer said, sing an Italian song and tell them what it's about. And when I left that stage, I had tears in my eyes. I realized that the audience tells you if they like you. <laughs> So, and a performer should really rely on his audience in, in a final analysis. So I'd like to get, get that across to the universities and colleges, to the young people. And now that I have a face because of television, I think I have their attention, you know. Now, are you only playing one night? Yeah, that's the way it worked out. Uh, eventually, I would like to be able to do more than one night. Uh, but uh, this is like a new, uh, in a sense, it's the start of a new, as Dominic, you know, I'm being Dominic now. I'm not, I don't have a mask. I don't have a, a character to play anymore. I want to be Dominic, uh, singing songs. Well, we look forward to seeing you sing. Soon Thank enough. you so if much. If I can go half your smile, your smile is beautiful.